Hello guys, I'm Rav and welcome to a new video. Just a few hours ago, Nvidia showed off their new 4 nanometer flagship GPUs, the RTX 4090 and RTX 4080, and I'm here to tell you all about it. We'll start with some other stuff, but skip to the timestamp on the screen if you want to hear just about the GPUs, and leave me a like or a comment if you liked the video. The most interesting thing they introduced, apart from the GPUs, is surely the new DLSS 3, which instead of creating new pixels from lower resolutions, tries to interpolate frames calculating velocity, speed and direction of the moving pixels with some kind of advanced machine learning optical flow thing. They, <laughs> they showed an example of Cyberpunk 2077, which went from 23 FPS without the LSS to 101 FPS with the LSS 3, which is unbelievably good and hard to believe. In a twist of events, much like when they announced the old Quake 2 with ray tracing, they also announced Portal RTX. Look, I'm as confused as you, but I gotta admit, Source games look pretty good with ray tracing. Whoa, look at this shininess! Portal RTX is gonna be a free DLC mod for everyone that already owns the um, base game, and it's coming in November. Speaking of modding, they also presented RTX Remix. And what the f*** is that, Rav? I hear you asking. Well, Nvidia described it as the quote most advanced modding tool ever created, but I don't really agree and I can try to explain it in a few words. Think of it as a game and answer. The tool is mostly an upscaler, upscaling textures, models, sometimes changing them, adding better materials, better reflections and of course ray tracing. It's basically an RTXifier tool for modding. Last, they showed off Racer X, an RC looking game that reminds me a lot of the Revolt. Does anybody remember that game? With RT support, of course, all rigid bodies, cloth fluid simulations, only real time, no big lights, but unfortunately, it's only a tech demo. <laughs> Dang. Okay, now for the moment you were all waiting for the GPUs. Nvidia, as usual, didn't put precise benchmarks, so we have very little information to work with. Remember, always cherry pick and wait for the third party benchmarks. First, the RTX 1490 is gonna have 24GB of GDDR6X VRAM like last gen and quote, is gonna be 2 to 4 times faster than a 3090, 2 times faster in Microsoft Flight Simulator, 3 times faster in Portal RTX and 4 times faster in Eraser X. But there, there were no tests, no specs info, no settings shown, no serious graphs. You can see how I have an issue with it, right? It starts at $1600. Unfortunately for my European friends, it's even more. It's gonna start at pause. The prices I'm about to say are the Italian prices. The, Euro the other European prices are like the 20, 30 euros difference, but it's basically the same. Let's continue. 1970 euros tax included and it's coming out on the 12th of October. Next, the RTX 4080 is gonna have two variants, the 16GB one and the 12GB one, both GDDR6X, quote, two to four times faster than a RTX 3080 Ti. The 16GB variant is starting at 1200 or uh, 1480 euros and the 12 gigabyte variant is starting at 900 or 1100 euros. Well, that was all I had to say. I expected more hints about the 4070 and 4060, but unfortunately we got none. If you wanna listen to the whole presentation or like more like the, the first quarter things that talk about business BS for a whole hour, I'll leave the video in the description. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you in the next one.